Well, they're lifelong friends, now business partners, whose love for animals landed them their very own show. The Nat Geo Wild Series is based on their veterinary clinic down in Georgia. And what goes on behind the scenes is in the latest season of Critter Fixers Country Vets. Here to tell us more about this is Dr. Bernard Hodges and Dr. Terrence Ferguson. Hi, doctors. Hello, Hello. how are you doing? Doctor, doctor, I know that you guys have been lifelong friends. How did the two of you meet? We met in college uh, 30 years ago. Uh, we were in biology class, and I was smart enough to go sit by the smart guy. And <laughs> we've been friends, friends ever since. You were copying homework? <laughs> Just a little. Just a little. Okay, so then uh, friendships and business sometimes don't necessarily mix. So how did you guys decide that, okay, we're going to take this friendship into a business partnership? Well, Dr. Holly and I, once we um, was out of school of veterinary medicine, we worked at a veterinary clinic together, and we always wanted to open our own practice. And we decided one day just to kind of trust each other. You know, let's take a leap of faith, and uh, let's open our own practice and see where it takes us. Yeah, well, it took you to a TV show. How did that come about? You know, even though we're in the real country, I mean, I know when people think Georgia, <laughs> they think Atlanta. We ain't nowhere near Atlanta. <laughs> we're we're 100, 100 miles south, but the thing is, with social media and the internet, I mean, you could be anything, anywhere people will find you. So I got a, a DM in my uh, Instagram, uh -huh. and it was like, do you want a TV show? And of course, I looked at it like anybody else, and I ignored it. Uh -huh. And, then, and then, it, then, you know, I started corresponding with them, and then it was like, could we Skype and talk a little bit more? And then I was like telling my buddy here, like, hey, man, we might have our own TV show. Yeah, I'm like, uh, so you have to know him. I'm like, okay, whatever. This will fade in a few days, you know, just another one of his little things going on. But <laughs> it actually turned out to be true. And, you know, they came down, they uh, shot a sizzle reel and from there, and they called us, and we had a show one day. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about what it's like. So are cameras with you guys, like, 24-7? Are you used to it? Is it weird? It is very weird. <laughs> I mean, very weird. I mean, looking at you guys, we aren't very photogenic like you, you guys. We, oh, stop. <laughs> Learn this thing and 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 we're running around doing surgeries we got horses on our back we got blood everywhere but you know after a while you kind of forget it i mean you you realize that you're the expert so you know you just use your expertise and you know hope the cameras catch the good moments <laughs> yeah doc that's what we say and plus yeah. i've been in i was in hair and makeup for four hours today doc so don't feel bad about yeah. anything like that uh, so what are some of the things that we're going to see on this show for people who haven't turned tuned in yeah, definitely one thing, you know, you'll have opportunity to see what goes on in the background or the back of the clinic, right? You know, everybody look at the veterinary clinic and you think, you know, we hug puppies all day and we hug kittens all day, but actually we have to do some work. So you get opportunity to see surgeries and uh, different illnesses that animals have that most people don't even know they have. And, uh, you know, you get to see two buddies kind of work together, have fun all day. And even though this is very serious profession and we take it serious, we like to enjoy ourselves and have fun. We didn't realize we were funny until everybody was like, you guys are funny. <laughs> and you're just like, being yourself. Well, that's the best thing is yeah. when you're yourself and, you know, somebody slaps a camera in front of you, you know, just kind of works. And it looks like that's the case for you guys. Do you guys always know, like, when you were a kid at, like, your elementary graduation that, you know, I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up? Is that something that you've always wanted to do? I was a little more non-traditional. I live really near a river and I would go out and get like frogs and fish and everything. So I had these dreams of being the first black top Cousteau. <laughs> I thought I was going to go down in the deep voices of the sea. And I even majored in fisheries biology, but right when I was getting ready to go on and study fish a little bit more, I realized I like all animals. So I applied to Tuskegee vet school and got in. And so now I treat everything, fish, salamanders, horses, dogs, cats, spiders, uh, gerbils. Did you say uh, spiders? Pickles. Spider, yes, somebody brought in a spider. Wait, you're treating a spider? Treating a spider, it's a pet spider, right? You know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of spiders, but if somebody bring in their pet spider and it's not eaten, Did I gotta figure out what, what's wrong. Oh, what? Like, okay, so <laughs> how does that, how do you treat a spider to find out why it is bulimic or, or have an anorexia or whatever, it's not eating? So, you know, everything is, uh, you know, you look at it, we're, we're detectives. I mean, none of our patients talk to us, so we have to kind of be detectives. In this case, the guy was wondering why his spider wasn't eating. So I you know, had him bring in the cage and I took a look at him. I looked at the spider, I had him get out and 
it actually did a little joke because they do bite. Uh, but but I was okay. And you know, this spider's pretty big. I mean, it's probably as big as my hand. And I figured out that it, what it was doing was chewing up the food, but it was hiding it in the corners in little webs. So what was happening is it didn't eat every day because it almost was kind of packing his lunch. So it had his lunch ready at the convenience. So. You no, know, it's just been a detective. So there was nothing wrong with the spider. The spider was just saving and eating it whenever it, it wanted to. Saving and eating, but you have to know the, the ecosystems and how these things work. So that's the that's the thing. You know, if I had wow. to see if it was it. So, you know, it's just about being a detective. I don't even know where a spider tummy is. Where's the tummy of a spider? <laughs> this segment. Way in there, huh? Way in the back, yeah. Way, way, way in, in the back? There. It's in the back, correct. But isn't that the spider butt? Well, it's right before the butt, just like our stomach. You know, they have a little digestive system. And it goes in the mouth and it kind of works its way down and then get to the back and then we got a little spider poop. I was just oh. going to ask that next is this spider poop. Yeah. <laughs> are, there, are, there any, are there any animals or insects that, that frighten you or you just don't want to be around? I don't think so. I mean, I think, like you said, we're in a very rural area, right? So there aren't any, there aren't a lot of veterinary clinics that see everything except critter fixer. So whatever comes in the door, we see them. Now, are we afraid of them? No, but there are some animals that we respect a little bit more than others because we know what they can or can't do to you. So, uh, but everything comes with that do door, we have to try to That'll figure it out. It. You know, we have each other lean on and we try to look, man, I haven't seen this in, uh, you know, in two what? years. What do you think about this? But we figured out. Right. True story. When I get off this interview, I am going back there. I have the people just came back. They came in this morning with a sick goat. The goat's really sick. I checked his blood. He's very anemic. I need some goat blood. Of course, they don't have that around. I sent them an hour away. I'm about to do a goat blood transfusion in the next few minutes. A goat <laughs> blood transfusion. Are the cameras there right now? They're going to capture this and then we can see it on the show? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're filming it. Yes. yes. Okay, sure. well, then we'll stay tuned for that wow. episode. Good luck to the goat. What's the goat's name so we can say a prayer? I think her, it, please do. I, and for me, too. Her name is Mama. Mama? Mama. Mama. Oh, I, Mama. Can, I can see why you the guys have your own Mama. show, doctors. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thank you. All right. Be sure to catch the new season of Critter Fixers Country Vets Saturdays at 8 p.m. on Nat Geo Wild. All the best to the goat. <laughs>